Hello and welcome to my tutorial for how to get out to Zone 4. This might be of interest to some of you as you can find elusive ores in Zone 4 such as Carnite, Arcanium, and Catonium. First thing is first, you are going to need a ship that can endure the long journey. I do not have any recommendations, however it would be smart to bring a ship that can fly for 6 plus hours. An optional but highly recommended tip is to bring along Nergite crystal stacks for refueling your fuel rods as well as stacks of other useful ores in case you need to stop and make repairs. Once you are set, begin your journey by angling yourself up so that you shoot through the top of the asteroid belt. Once on top, you will now have landmarks to go off of once you get out to the 500 km transponder range. For any of you that don't know, you can change the station transponder range from 100 km to 500 km in the settings menu. Now that you are traveling on top of the asteroid belt, it is important to figure out your ship's speed. You can do this by taking note of your distance away from an origin station and then comparing it over time. From this you can figure out how far you need to travel before rotating down into the asteroid belt. It should look something like this. Now that you know how long it will take to reach 650 kilometers, you need to factor in some extra time to help close the margin of error. For example, just don't fly out to 650 kilometers as your rotation would have to be perfect in order for you to reach zone 4. Fly to maybe 675 kilometers or say 700 kilometers. Once you are out to your set distance, rotate down 90 degrees by placing an object directly under your ship and then rotating the ship towards it. From there you can fly straight, penetrating through each of the asteroid belt zones until you reach zone 4. When going through the asteroid belt, I recommend only flying straight and level so that your angles don't get thrown off. When you are ready to return home, you can rotate the ship 180 degrees and shoot out the top of the asteroid belt, or take the riskier approach and rotate only 90 degrees and fly straight home. If you choose to rotate only 90 degrees and go straight home, your rotation can be off slightly, as once you are within 500 kilometers, you will see the station's transponder. One final note is to not fly anything you can't afford to lose. This is very important as failure is possible in these scenarios. Thank you guys so much for all the great feedback on the last tutorial video. I am truly blown away by the reception. Once again, it helps out tremendously if you like the video, and if you have any interest, I will link the company Discord below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.